Aquarius, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for January 2018. All right, Aquarius, before we jump in and talk about what's happening in your month, I've got a new feature going on all of 2018, $3 Thursdays. It's the third Thursday of every month. I will be teaching an astrology concept. All you got to do is grab your chart and come on in there. It's a live but private, so it's a much more intimate setting where you can actually get answers to things in your personal chart, which just illuminates everything. So I hope you get signed up. You can buy one session, five sessions, or buy the whole year, whichever you want to do. Click in the description box down below and you can book your spot. And of course, space has to be limited, so I can't make it so super huge that I can't answer questions. So grab your spot. Look forward to seeing you there. All right, Aquarius, here in January, this month I actually think has some very good vibes on it. This is a month of moons, so we've got some adjustments happening. We've got three moons happening just this month, and all of them, to me, point to really good stuff for you. So right here on January 1st, we've got the full moon happening in Cancer, and for you, this is in your sixth house. Now, the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, and for you at the sixth house, whenever I see that, I think, okay... Maybe you've been working on a project or something at work, even a freelance project or trying to get a freelance gig and it comes to an end. It gets to move to the next stage of whatever it is. But whatever it is in your professional life, you did a lot of work on that last year, pulling one of your dreams, one of your many ideas out of the sky and making it a reality. And maybe this is it, you know, <coughs> excuse me, maybe you have brought something to the surface and now it gets to start to take a different direction and kind of a life of its own how beautiful would that be at the same time if you have had issues with co-workers this is a wonderful energy for those things to be falling off and to be ending as well now one of the things i do kind of think of because this is happening this full moon is happening um and there's a grand water trine in the midst of this. A trine is a big old pocket of opportunity. And when you make it grand, it's a grand opportunity. So it could even be that you're doing, putting something out there or willing to get a new skill or something. And someone in a position of authority notices that or sees that or somebody's eyes are on you. And the project, the idea, the relationship with the coworker, maybe even your health for my healthy Aquarians, right? Maybe this is that month you really get to get your body in shape and somebody's taking notice and there's some kind of benefit that comes from it. I certainly feel like for any Aquarians who needed to get their daily schedules in alignment, people will start to notice as well. You start to notice the calm and the change of having a different routine in your life that brings you a lot more peace and productivity as well. Now, on the 12th of the month, we're going to see a loaded 12th house. We've got everybody and their sister in Capricorn in your 12th house. So Pluto, Saturn, who's going to be working there for about three years, Venus, the sun, and on the 12th, we welcome in Mercury. Now, <clears throat> in the 12th house space, we're getting rid of things. This is the place of fear, of closure, of things that are hidden. Um, all of those things are things that we are starting to work on here. So you could be getting rid of those things, right? There could be some things you're starting to let go. This could also be with Mercury here, a really wonderful time where you're communicating something. The thing about the 12th house is that it's brilliantly, brilliantly creative and imaginative. You know, we don't give it enough credit for that, but you could be expressing something very creative or something very spiritual or Maybe even there's some things from your past or um, things, even past really great ideas that you have, and now you see where they have a place in your present, and you're getting to express those, make some decisions around them. Whatever that looks like, <clears throat> on the 16th of the month, we're going to have the new moon happening in Capricorn. This is wonderful because at the new moon, we plant our seeds of intention for what we want to be next, right? The new beginning we want to have here. So any communication you have in this 12th house space, any, um, any ideas that you have that maybe come out of this space, you can have a new beginning with them. It's kind of a nice launching pad. It's a nice place of healing. It's a nice place of power, especially in terms of anything psychic as well, okay? Now, as we get to the 18th of the month, we have the um, we have Venus moving into Aquarius. On the 21st, we have the Sun moving into Aquarius. So both of these move into your sign. Venus Sun energy is beautiful because it's harmonious, magnetic, 
energized, vital, and a part of a really delicious cycle. So for you, I really do feel like you're like you're coming out, you know? You're showing up. People like what you're what you got going on. And I feel like if you are willing to present yourself out into the world, there's also some beautiful opportunities for romance with Venus coming into your sign. You could be attracting someone to you. You could be attracting some money to you. Now, if you are looking to attract someone to you, I feel like this is just delicious. The possibilities really warm up here. If you're in a relationship already, you could be showing up different in your relationship. You could realize that you're like, yeah. I'm pretty pumped to be where I'm at. Now, I will tell you, as we get to the end of the month on the 31st, where we have our lunar eclipse, which is a total lunar eclipse, so it blots out. So we get to have an emotional reset. <clears throat> this happens in your seventh house because it's happening in the sign of Leo, right? Um, if you and your person have spent some time and you really can see that this is just not going to work out, Right, This may be the time where you make that decision to go ahead and go your separate way. At the same time, I feel like in relationships, just in general, if it's been a business relationship, a relationship with family, um, any of those things that hasn't been working out, at this lunar eclipse, you may let those things go as well. Right. Most importantly, Aquarius, I feel like the biggest relationship you have to let go of is the one you've been outgrowing where you've just been this one kind of Aquarius now you get to step up and be a different kind because you've got something else to put out there. People are starting to acknowledge you. It's really a very wonderful year for acknowledgement for you. It's like you're putting down and letting go some of these things that make it so you can't fly so high. You know, you let those go and you get to go see that the sky's the limit for you. Now, let me back up for two seconds because on the 22nd, 27th, we have Mars coming into Sagittarius. This is beautiful for you. Now, remember, Venus is in your sign. So with Mars here in Sagittarius, this is lighting up the 11th house space for you. Social things, social media, social groupings. Maybe you're making gains at the gym. Whatever it is, this is a social energy for you. And if you're taking yourself out there, you see how it has the potential to be very, very attractive. But with Mars here in Sag as well, you have the opportunity to relook at these long range goals that you want, that you have at this point in the game, right here at the beginning of the year. Where are your plans? Are they on track? Do you have plans? Do you have plans down on paper, Aquarius, so that you can see where you're going and where you need to go along the way? Because this energy will help you. And Mars is making you very exciting to be around. That's for darn sure. So make sure you use your Venus, your Mars, the grounding of your Saturn to move yourself out there. You're already very friendly. So I feel like people can really see a different side of you this month that is a lot more creative, maybe even a little bit more like, what's the word I want? Just open. I feel like you're a lot more open this month, Aquarius, and share that with everybody because there's magic in that. There's absolute magic in that, okay? All right, Aquarians, I hope to see you in $3 Thursdays. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful January, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in February. Bye!